Robert Dubois was convicted and sentenced to prison for a rape and murder he did not commit. But he never gave up his fight for freedom. He claimed his innocence all the way to death row. He was just 18 years old when he was arrested and his family didn't have the means to mount a strong defense. It wasn't until the Innocence Project took up his case that Dubois finally found freedom. Tonight, I take you inside his life now, just one month after he was awarded $14 million for being wrongfully convicted. Bob Dubois can fix almost anything. Did they get the key? Uh, no, not yet. So they got him. They look like this now. He's the head of building maintenance at Ardea Country Club. Even though he's never golfed. No, I've never played. Pretty nice community around here, too. Club members must be wondering why this multimillionaire is still their fix it guy. You don't need to work anymore. Yeah, I will. Why? I just do. It's what I do. You're a millionaire. Yeah, well, I guess that's in theory, but not in my heart. The most valuable thing in Bob's life is not money, it's freedom. Dubois spent 37 years behind bars for a crime he didn't commit, four of them on death row for the murder of Barbara Grahams. I would walk by the cells, go into mine, and I'd never forget the faces. These people act like they're waiting to die. And I'm like, no way I'm going to be like that. For decades, Dubois worked to prove his innocence. I wrote 60 minutes, 20, 20, 48 hours. Um, Time magazine, I wrote to everybody I could find an address for. It wasn't until the Innocence Project got involved in 2018 that things started happening. Bite mark evidence that helped convict Dubois was discredited, and DNA evidence once thought lost was recovered, proving two other men already behind bars that Dubois never met were guilty. Do you spend any time thinking what you lost? No, it's too late for that. I did enough of that there, you know, like wondering, you know, even 15 years into it, wondering, well, if I could prove my innocence now, I could still get out, have children and a wife and all this stuff, but it didn't happen. But this did just happen. Last week, Dubois closed on his very first home, and there's more room than he knows what to do with. Well, hopefully I'm going to get a couple kids. That's right. Bob's dream of having a family is still very much alive. And maybe siblings so they never get split up, you know, and give them a decent home. You'd still like to be a dad? Yes, still would. So this is, should be 58. And Dubois has no plans to leave the golf course, where our DEA general manager, Aaron Lucas, didn't hesitate to hire him a little more than a year ago. He's an innocent person that needs a second chance, and I, in my hard I feel like a lot of t if this were to happen to me I would want someone to give me a chance and slowly club members are learning about Bob's past shake your hand one more time oh my goodness wow what's it like to have freedom after 37 years well it was amazing it was challenging because think about it when I was 18 I went into a world I didn't understand and then when I'm 56 I come back into a world I don't understand it's now been nearly four years since Bob walked out of prison a free man just last month, the city of Tampa awarded him $14 million for the years he was wrongfully incarcerated. But he has no plans to spend it. It's clearly not about the money. No, it has nothing to do with the money. The money can't possibly restore anything I lost. You know, it can only provide a better future for me and my family. Wow. No plans for the money. He bought a house before he even received anything from the settlement. That was from his other jobs. And uh, he said the only way he'd want to spend some money is if him, his mom wants something. He'd well, like to buy her what she wants. And he's been out now, you say, for what, like four, four years. years? So he's really adjusted pretty doggone well. And, right. and he's right. I mean, money will never buy back what he's lost, what was taken from him unfairly. But he's living his life, and it's it's remarkable to see his, his spirit, his personality, yeah. and his, and his life going forward. He only looks forward. forward. He only looks What's forward, and he's got a few dollars in the pocket, and maybe those later years uh, down the road will be will be something special yeah. for him. Nice job. Thank Thanks. you. Well,